On this National Prayer Day, the members of the Regina Mundi Catholic Church, the biggest Catholic church in South Africa, gave up the comfort of their church to share the stage with both local and international media in order to commemorate the fallen stalwart former President Nelson Holisasa Mandela. The church first wrote its name in South Africa's history books during apartheid. It opened its doors to anti-apartheid groups and provided shelter to activists. It was during the June 16, 1976 student uprisings when protesting students fled to Regina Mundi from Orlando Stadium to escape the police bullets and tear gas canisters. To some, this is a memory they will take to the grave. <laughs> Most of the children ran into the church. The priest had no choice but to open the doors. Police kept on firing tear gas into the church to a point where these children had to come out because of the tear gas. Some were fainting right in front of the church. I witnessed one child being shot dead not far from here. I was panicking. I was worried. I could not find my son. I came back to look for him. It was very, very bad. International journalists also packed the venue. I'm really excited to be able to cover such an historic event because Nelson Mandela, um, I know, is, was so important to the people of South Africa, but the entire world, and to be here to, um, I guess, experience what the feeling is like and what um, the locals, how the locals feel about this wonderful man um, is really humbling. I'm really grateful that I can be here. Um, in terms of the church, I, I honestly really didn't know much about it until I, I came here this morning. I've heard a few stories, you know, a few underground meetings, important underground meetings back in the day were held here. Also um, the, the uprising as well where there was uh, kids here and there was uh, gunshots and I believe there are still some bullet holes in the roof. Um, so it, it is very very, very interesting. It's um, quite uh, fascinating to learn about the history here. Amongst the worshippers, the U.S. ambassador to South Africa. I was here 23 years ago uh, when um, this country was in a period of transformation. No one was certain which direction it would come in, go in. And I came here to Regina Mundi at that point. Obviously, it was an iconic structure because of the role that it played in the apartheid period. And of course, during the Soweto uprising, I came here then. I had to come back here to uh, commemorate the spirit of Madiba. And wow, what a service in there this morning. It was incredibly powerful. I mean, and while there was praise and worship inside the church, outside it was business as usual. This time of grief and sadness has brought confusion and fear to some. I'm afraid they may be fighting now that he is gone, fights that may take us backwards.